I'm Carol Peterman, owner of TableFair.com. If you love the spicy flavors of blackened fish, I've got a Cajun blackening seasoning you're going to love. You can use this spice blend to season all sorts of dishes because it's super tasty even without blackening. For the spice blend, combine two tablespoons of Hungarian paprika. And this paprika doesn't have any heat to it. So the heat is going to come from a different spice. And then two tablespoons of thyme. And when you're working with herbs, it's nice to crumble them between your palms so that you break the leaves up and that helps release the flavor. And next is a tablespoon of garlic granules and a tablespoon of onion powder. And these just go right in. And also a tablespoon of dried oregano. Crumble this one as well to release all that fabulous aroma and flavor. Then we'll add two teaspoons of granulated sugar. And the sugar in this spice blend is going to help develop the blackening as it caramelizes in the hot pan. And now the heat is a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This gives, gives it that Cajun cook kick. And then we also need one tablespoon of freshly ground black peppercorns. So that just gets mixed up. And I don't include salt in the blend because I prefer to salt each dish individually depending on what it is. Now there are two important points um, to developing a successful blackened crust. A smoking hot cast iron pan, which we've got happening over here and thin food. So about half inch thick fillets are ideal. Now you can also cook outside on a screaming hot grill if you want to avoid smoking up your kitchen. But don't use a nonstick pan for blackening because the heat required for a nice blackened crust is just too hot for a nonstick pan. Uh, now to use this blend to make our blackened fish, we just need to coat each side of our fish fillets with a little bit of melted butter. And then I'm also going to salt this so that we get that seasoning on. And the butter is going to help the spice mix stick. So that is not only flavor, but it acts as spice glue. So each side of our fish gets a little coating. And then the spice blend. It's, if you put it out on a nice flat tray or dish, it makes it easy to coat your fish. So we'll just pour it out here. And then each one of these gets a nice solid coating of blackening seasoning. And the pan is getting good and smoking hot. So that is about ready to go. And these fish fillets look beautiful. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on this pan. And as I mentioned, this will smoke wildly, which is what you need to get a good blackened crust on your fish. So I'm going to turn on the super powerful vent fans here and you won't really be able to hear me very well, 
The fish is going to go in, get a quick flip, and just cook until it's nice and black. So you'll see what I mean. All right, you can see this is smoking, smoking hot. And this is what we're after, this beautiful blackened crust that you can only get with this kind of a smoking hot pan. So it goes quickly because you're cooking a thin food on a hot pan. Now, serve this uh, with your favorite side dishes. I like to serve it with a little lemon wedge and I also really love it on a nice crusty baguette as an open-faced sandwich. Enjoy.